just don't want to make a complicated video to put on YouTube and show you guys and you know over in the forum. So this cell here, number my A5, I call it. This is a replication, a full replication. It took me. It took me. <laughs> this cell was born December 1st, 2018. Actually, I think it was a little bit early because it takes a little time. It takes a, it takes a few days to make a physical set. And then it takes months in this old-fashioned way uh, for me to form the cells. Uh, so this video is not to show details about the cells to none of you guys. I just want to show you a little baby. Okay, it illuminates a, a, a room the night bothers you. And this cell is almost 100% formed. She might need a drop of water once a month for a few months. Not even that. I doubt it because she's out of the lab. She already received everything she needs. Um, if you want to try to look inside, it's so packed with crystals. This thing is so compact, man. The crystals here are so grown and so compact. There's no way water gets in. Okay? So if you even drop a little bit of water in the cell, one drop of water, distilled water in any of the cells, what's going to happen? Uh, it will just evaporate. Very little residual water is going to get inside because it's locked inside so much crystal growth. And that, that's what took me so long to grow the cell. But what I'm happy to show you guys on video unit for about this cell, this is a replication of eight years of work. It took forever, it took me forever to figure out how this thing works. And this, do another cell that I have, I haven't shown you guys yet. I, I did, it is in one, in one of my videos from years ago. It's running and that's the one, it's still running today after four years, five years. And that's the reason why I, I kept going. But I'm quiet because I haven't had a, a replication of my own, own work. But now I have a replication of my own work. Uh, it's not fully confirmed because I haven't cast this in, a, in, in an epoxy. No, I will only be fully happy when I cast this in an epoxy and then I can say it's done. There's nothing you can do, you can't change, you can't make it more, you can't add, you can't take it away. So this cell is going to be out of my lab, walking around with me around in the house, in the car, in other cities, other houses, uh, showing to people. And then in a few months I'll cast it. I'll make a measurement of the voltage and I'll cast it. And this cell was born uh, in December last year. It's been running for a long time, long history. But what you see is 2.54 volts. Uh, extremely stable cell. I think it's going to run at least the minimum that the other cell that I have is running for four years. So I assume this is going to be four years. Uh, but since the four years old cell is, has no signs of stopping, it's a constant voltage, a specific voltage all, all the time, every day, same way, no signs whatsoever to show signs of decay at all. So <clears throat> I consider this a successful experiment. Now the, the question is how can I make a different cell, same, same thing, same technology, same all, but not in this shape, in a much smaller shape, this is gigantic. Uh, the research hasn't stopped, it just takes a long time, but a long time collecting data, man. Because for me to go say out there in the world, this will run forever, and it's not galvanic reaction, I have to know for sure, I, I have to know for sure that I'm not saying something wrong. I have the data, I have the test, I'm convinced myself, and based on these findings, I'm going to the next level. So this is for the over Unity Forum, my friends there.